play with the Irish actors. Of all the Irish actors, I mean, we, you're very familiar with the Dublin one because you perform in Temple Bar yes. all the time. But uh, do you have a favourite Irish <coughs> accent? Um, I think at the moment my favourite Irish accent is from Tipperary. I used to work with this guy in a construction site. And this guy was a big Tipperary man. And he was like three men squeezed into one man's body. <laughs> do you know the kind of guy he was? And he, he, he's like he had the loudest talking voice I've ever heard in my life. It was almost like his head was an amplifier. <laughs> and, and he was like a little bit racist and homophobic, because he's probably, you know, like a lot of Irish men, he's a little bit gay. And, um, <laughs> and uh, Pat's fine with that. You can touch Pat, he's nice, he's a human being. And a lot of people, you look at Pat and you think, you know, you know he's on his pedestal. Pat Kenny is a, a lovely man, he's a beautiful man, he's heterosexual, he's horny, he's natural. <laughs> so it seems to be. <laughs> Pat Kenny has a penis, you know, oh. hey. <laughs> that seems to be a bit of a shock to some of you. Look, Jesus Christ, Mary, mother of God. <laughs> Pat Kenny has a penis. He doesn't have it with him, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's at home. It's in a, it's in a safe. <laughs> no, but... Um, we were talking we, we Tipperary. Were talk Tipperary. <laughs> so this guy, this big guy, like, and, 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 and uh, yeah, and three men squeeze into one man, and he'll come out with real clangers, like, he'll, he'll, say, he'll say things like, it's not illegal to hate black people, is it? And, you know, it's not legal, it's kind of a bit wrong, though, isn't it? And then, and instead of saying, could you pick that shovel and place it over there, he'll say, get the hop out of the way, up again the wall. <laughs> get the hop out of the way, up again the wall. Twelve syllables. Get the hope out of the way, up against the wall. <laughs> and he talks about homosexuals like they're vampires. He talks about homosexuals like they're vampires, like they're invading a village. Two quails came into the bar the other day. Not one of them, two quails. And one of them had hooks for hands. And he dug them into the back of the other fella. And he started riding them, <laughs> riding them. Two quails. And the other fella had wings and he fucking blew it. But the really weird thing is, as he's telling you the story, yeah. he sort of invades your body space. He's like, come here, two queers come into the bar the other day, like, two queers, two queers. <laughs> you know, we have a checklist of, you know, how many so people mom, you've offended is, yeah. throughout the program. So we've got Korea and Tipperary, probably yeah. the gay community, yeah. and probably no, but just... I, I'm a bit gay myself, so it's fine. <laughs> well, but I'm not really gay, you know, maybe I am gay. Um, have yeah. you... Uh, maybe I haven't I... met the right man. <laughs> I hope I never meet the right uh, man. And you? if you're out there, stay away from me, you queer! <laughs> Go on, you queer! Have, no queers! Have you, um, have you been arrested recently? I mean, you were arrested before, and I think it's a pretty regular occurrence, but are you now immune because you're kind of famous? Uh, yeah, no, well, well, generally the, 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 the guard are okay. The guard are great. Hey, the guards are great. But one or two of them straight out of Temple Moor, and they have that special way of walking. You know, like people in the country where they use their whole body, like, you know what I mean? And they talk to me like I'm a farm animal. Come on, come on, come on. I'm from the country. I'm a guard. I'm a guard. Under section eight of the I've been bullied at school, and now it's my fucking turn act. <laughs> come on. Wonder <laughs> now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Garda. You're great. No, generally they're great, Pat. And they, they actually look after you, because, I mean... They do, I know. But you have people who don't actually like you, who are a yeah, bit hostile. I know. Very right. hostile. Recently, I did a show, I did, I did a show, and it, was, it had about 200 people around me. And this uh, man, father, with his daughter, I'd say she was about 15, 16, I assume she was a daughter. I looked at him, and he smiled at me, and I felt implicit in his smile. He was giving me permission to make fun of him. So the audience were looking at me thinking, oh, I wonder what he's gonna say. I wonder what he's gonna say. And I looked at him, and I looked at the daughter, and I said, hey, I'm not judging you, sir. I just think she's too young. Ooh. Right, and exactly I got that reaction. He went ballistic, he attacked me, and the daughter was crying, it was a disaster. It was an ill-judged, nil time thing to say. Sometimes I didn't step over the line, I pole vaulted over the line. <laughs> the next week, I'm doing a show in the exact same spot. With this in mind, I'm trying to temper my show and so on. 200 people around me, a guy in a wheelchair comes through the show, and I think, all oh, right, here we go. I'm, I just saw, I ignored him completely. And uh, he stopped in the middle of the show, and he looked at me and he said, why aren't you making fun of me? Do you think because I'm in a wheelchair, I don't have a sense of humor? <laughs> you know, do you think because I can't walk, I can't laugh at myself? And of course, the audience were like, yeah, woo, yeah. 
And I, I felt really humiliated. And um, I looked at him and I said, you're pretty funny, but you can never be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> <laughs> See, now, my, my mother is in a wheelchair, so I grew up with somebody with physical disability, so I feel very relaxed about, you know. So. That's a lie, isn't it? No, she's in a she's wheelchair. Well, it's not really, it's an imaginary wheelchair, but she's... <laughs> I've met your mother, she's not in a wheelchair, is she? She likes you, Pat. <laughs> like a lot of women in Ireland, <laughs> they like you. But that's the whole thing about your humour, it's kind of, you. it's... Uh, Sorry. G Steady on. It, it's kind of so far, so close to the edge. So far of my... No, no, no. no so close to the edge. Yes. Yes. Uh, I mean, is that the only way that you can really function is right on the edge? Yes. That you don't... I mean, there's no such thing as rehearsal with you, is there? Yeah, no, um, yes, no, yes, no, no, no rehearsal. You have a DVD out. I do have a DVD it out. It has sketches and songs yeah. and all sorts of things. There's my DVD there. And you can Davison. finally buy it in the shops. It's amazing. In a few years, that'll be worth at least a thousand... Lira. <laughs> but um, I'd like to, I'd, if I you may, do a song? I, I'd love to do a song. Because the guitar is there and it's not there for nothing. Thank you very much, Mr. Pat Kenny, for giving me this opportunity to promote myself. Can I also just say that I'm playing in Vicar Street on the 26th of February and I'm playing in Cork City Limits on the 9th and 10th of December. Cork City Limits is the best comedy club in Ireland and Brian started off. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Off so, you go. Thank you very much. Thank David you. Savage. <clears throat> thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this song uh, is a very beautiful song uh, and it's especially written for people of Ireland. It's, uh, it's about the danger of drinking alcohol and having relationships with animals. Thank you very much. <laughs> and people object, you know, to having sex with animals, but it's okay to kill them and eat them. That's fine, but sex, ooh, no, problems, you know. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I met a beautiful woman last night She had a beautiful face and a beautiful body But she had the brain But she had the brain But she had the brain Of a pigeon A pigeon I was drunk, I didn't care I went home with her anyway The next morning I woke up I looked into her eyes She looked at me and she said oh. I made love to a pigeon last night I was drunk, it was out of sight With a little skinny legs and a penetrating eyes A lice infected neck and the feathers a lice infected neck and her feathers I stayed with her for a week I stayed with her for a week She gave good beak <laughs> Dave McSavage